Hi, I'm Rob Cosman. Welcome to my shop. If you like to cut dovetails with really skinny pins, I mean just the thickness of the saw blade, I've got a solution for you. The problem when you do this is getting rid of the waste, and it's difficult to get a chisel in there. I use a fret saw. Not a coping saw, but a fret saw. I actually provide this off my website. Now we've done a few things to it to modify it to make it a little easier to use. One of the most noticeable is that we've taped the handle. We tape it just like we would tape, tape a hockey stick. It gives it a lot better grip. Uh, I was surprised at how much improvement there was with our students just from that one feature alone. So here's what we do. The blade I use is a 12 and a half TPI, that's teeth per inch, skip tooth blade designed to cut fast and yet at the same time a very narrow blade that will easily go down the kerf left by the dovetail saw without damaging it. Um, we send you a dozen blades with the saw. They come all wound up like that. Now what I do to find out which way the teeth are going, they're too hard to see, is just use your fingers. I want this to cut on the pull stroke. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up the frame. Open up these wing nuts. The jaws are serrated on the inside. Now I want as much of the shank of the blade to be in there as possible. So I'll sink that to the bottom. Snug that up firmly. Do the same thing up here at the top. Now I'm going to back this top wing nut up off about a quarter of an inch. Then I'll take as much tension, put as much tension as I can with the frame. Then snug that up. Now I'll wind this in and that's where I'll get the tension that will prevent that blade from bowing as I saw. Now as you can tell with three inches we'd be limited in our depth of cut. So what we do, and because I cut, I'm right handed, I cut right to left, so if you're left handed you would do the reverse. I'm going to take that little blade and I'm going to give it a little twist. Now I use side cutters instead of pliers. Reason is pliers have serrated jaws and that little narrow blade will sometimes fall into them. It's much more positive using these, you just can't squeeze too tight. So right there at the clamping point, I'll grab the blade and give it about a 30 degree twist and come up here to the top and do the same thing. Now if I was left handed, I would just do the exact opposite. Okay, now when I drop down that kerf, you've got to remember that we've twisted the blade so we can't drop down like this. We actually have to lay it over, drop down to the bottom, come up off of the bottom just a little bit and start saw, sawing while I'm uh, turning. Now, you can adjust the speed, obviously. So, cut as slow as you need in order to remain, con maintain control. You may have to raise or lower this back in order to keep your cut level. And as you get better at this, you can get a lot faster. You zip that waste out. And it's about the most convenient and the quickest way to remove the bulk of that waste. I use it for the tails as well. Great little tool, but relatively inexpensive, but it'll sure make your dovetail a lot easier.